You can download the art seen in the video for free, link in the description, or a ledge grab that you can add to any of your 2D platformer games. Go to your player scene, add a recast 2D node to the scene, right click, rename, rename it to ledge grab miss, set the target position to 6 by 0, and make sure the hit from inside is true. Hit from inside will ensure that the raycast detects collision in the case that it starts inside of a collision shape. Add another raycast 2D node to the scene, right click, rename, rename it to ledge grab hit, set the target position to 4 by 0, enable hit from inside, and set the transform position to 2.75 on the y axis. The purpose of these raycasts is so that we can detect a ledge by checking if the player is next to a collider, which is why we have the shorter ledge grab hit ray, and that there is space above that collider that we are next to, which is why we have the longer ledge grab miss ray that is above the player's collision shape. Inside the player script, add a constant for the tile size. A constant is the same as a variable, but it can't change its value during runtime, and we require knowing what the tile size is so that we can snap the player's position appropriately when they are on a ledge. We will then have two more variables. On ledge is used to check the current state of whether we are on the ledge or not. This is to enable or disable certain movement input, and direction is used to know whether we are moving to the left or right, as we require the player to be moving in the direction of the ledge to grab onto it. Inside the built-in physics process function, we set direction to the right input strength minus the left input strength. This will ensure that direction is equal to negative 1, 0, or 1 based on the horizontal direction we are trying to move towards. We will then check if we are not on the ledge. Then we will run a custom function called ledge logic. After you have established this custom function in your script, we will first check if we are on the floor or if we are not falling or if we are moving horizontally. Then use return to skip the code below. Then we check if either the ledge grab hit ray is not colliding or that the ledge grab miss ray is colliding. Then return to skip the code below. We do these two if statements to ensure that the state of the player is correct for them to be able to grab onto a ledge, and we separate the if statements instead of just using one, making the code more readable. Then, because the player is in a state where they are able to grab the ledge and are trying to grab it, we create two variables. Desired pawns is the position that we will snap the player to, so that they look like they are grabbing onto the ledge properly. This will be the global position snapped to the tile size, plus an offset. For the offset, we use negative 2.5 because from the center of the player sprite out to the tile size of 8 pixels, there are 2.5 pixels of empty space that we need to account for, as the player's position is being snapped to the center of the 8x8 tile. So this offset would then correct that. And we multiply by direction to ensure that this correction works properly when the player is looking to the left or right. Additionally, we add negative 1 on the y axis to move the player up. You can change this offset however you like, as it will depend on the art of your player sprite. Pause tween will be equal to a new tween that will have a transition of sign for a smoother animation. We then grab pause tween, passing the player, their global position, the desired pause, and the total time for the tween animation, which is 0.05 seconds. Then we set velocity to a vector 2.0, which is just a vector 2 of 0 by 0. And we do this as the player should be static as they are holding onto the ledge. Then we play any animations for ledge grabbing. Then we set on ledge to be true. Now inside the physics process function, in the case that we are on the ledge, we will check if the player is pressing the jump key. Then we run our basic jump code and set on ledge to be false. Else if it is the down key, we set velocity.y to half of the jump height and we make it a positive value so that we are applying a downward force. Then we set on ledge to be false. We make sure to apply a downward force as otherwise if the player is moving in that direction on the ledge, then press down, they will immediately snap back to the ledge. Else if neither key is being pressed, then we just set velocity to a vector 2.0. And finally, we call return to ensure that the other movement code below doesn't run while we are on the ledge. Finally, to ensure that the raycast point in the correct direction, no matter if we are looking left or right, check if direction, which means that direction is equal to a value that is not zero. Then check if direction is more than zero, meaning that it is positive. So we set the target position.x of the raycast to what we set at the start of the video. Otherwise, we set them to a negative equivalent. Now you have a simple ledge grab that you can add to any of your 2D platformer games. And don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.